highfalutin. <laughs> Rootin' tootin'. I'm not sure any of those quite apply. Would you forgive my spectacles? Um, good morning. Uh, welcome to this um, conference and, and celebration of achievement for 2017. Uh, again, I have that privileged position to be able to stand here today and, and formally welcome you to this event. An event that, as well as displaying uh, some of the things that are going on we need to know about, recognises uh, what you have done, not, not just over the last 12 months, but in uh, a number of instances over many, many years. Happily for you, uh, the slot I'm given is 10 minutes. Uh, and if I can reassure you, I promise not to go over that. Uh, so I'll stick to what I came here to say. <coughs> Preface that, however, by pointing out that uh, if you disregard me for a moment, and Derek's here, so possibly disregard Derek, uh, we do have some interesting speakers for you uh, later today. We've got uh, Sally Gretton, who you will be hearing from uh, first and Richard McCann, who has spoken to the organization to an event like this before, and some of you may remember that uh, two or three years ago, I think, uh, in York. So, we've got interesting speakers, and we live in interesting times. Now that is supposedly a Chinese curse. It turns out that there is no such thing. It's, it's a made-up story. But that is not to say that the sentiment doesn't have resonance. I think we do live as an organisation in interesting times. You look at the television, you read the newspapers. Please tell me if you know what is going to happen in the next few years. Even the sky turned yellow the other day and who saw that one coming? You know the scope and the nature of what St Anne's does. You know the challenges that we, that you face. I tell you that we as a board, the senior management team that you can see here, are changing things to meet those challenges. And those changes are intended to create a stronger, more robust organisation to provide the care and the quality of care that we need to provide to protect, and also, we hope, to enhance your jobs, and in so doing, to offer a better future for all. You may know, you will have seen, doubtless many of you, that there have been changes in the senior management of St Anne's, and that process is not yet complete. Um, John's referenced trustees, and there are uh, two or three of us here today, uh, but that process of recruitment of new trustees is ongoing and we'll be doing some of that work tomorrow. We will be undertaking this week shortlisting for new senior posts within the organisation. This is an ongoing process and there are parallel ongoing processes. We've undertaken and continued so to do a, a thoroughgoing review of the assets and operations of this organisation to try to ensure that not only are we doing the right things, but that we're doing them in the right way. Now, unsurprisingly, that has thrown up uh, issues. It's presented problems, but it's also presented real opportunities uh, for us to improve on how we go about things. And I believe, and I would hope I can reach to some extent, that things are changing for the better. The quality of the work that you do, and you will know this, is independent review. I, I'm sure many of you are oh, you're now writing your Christmas cards for TQC. But that independent review tells the world, tells the board that I chair, good news. The national average uh, of all CQC uh, registered services in September last achieved scores of good in 71% of cases. For St Anne's, the average was 93%. So that is, by a country mile, a difference compared to the general sector. And that is not 
really anything I do. I get to speak today, but you do it. It's what you do, all of you, whatever level within the organization. We have, you have, challenged existing practice. You've innovated and you've swapped ideas. And it'll come as no surprise, I keep copies of these speeches. And I, a couple of years ago, I invited the organization to do that. Whether you took my invitation or not, I can't claim. I know others have beaten the drum on this. But you have made that difference. The effects can be seen, but of course the challenges remain. And we're often saying that we need to be more business-like. And I think we do. But, and for me it's a big but, we should not lose focus on what the organisation is about. And that must always guide us. So whatever the colour of the sky, or the strength of the winds, or the storms of uh, the economic climate, the core and the goal of St. Anne's must remain. And now you have to forgive me, because there's a little bit of poetry that I think sums up better what I'd like to say than I could ever say alone. So indulge me. It goes. One ship drives east and another drives west, though the self-same winds do blow. It is the set of the sails and not the gales which tells the way to go. Like the winds of the sea are the winds of fate as we voyage along through life. It is the set of the soul and not the goal that decides the goal and not the calm or the strife. You here help set and maintain the soul of this organization. So whatever winds blow out there, they must not push us off of our primary course. So in coming here today and doing the work you've done, you helped to maintain that course. I congratulate you for doing that. I compliment you for doing that. And I hope that you have an enjoyable day. And for those of you receiving your awards, thank you. Well done, and please do it again.